numbers into a 2D universe. Join me to calculate the golden number system. It's math like you've never seen. Definition. Our journey starts with the 2D golden number system. Numbers here are written as G equals a plus BR, where A and B are real numbers, and R is a unique unit. But what is R? It's not a real number you find on a number line, nor a variable to solve. Think of complex numbers, where Z equals X plus Y I, and I is defined by I squared equals negative one. We don't compute I, it's a mathematical building block. For our system, R is defined by R squared equals R plus one. Let me say that again, R times R equals R plus one. This isn't about finding what R equals, it's a rule that shapes our algebra, like I shapes complex numbers. Formally, we're in the ring of real numbers extended by R modulo R squared minus R minus one. This means r squared minus r minus 1 equals 0, or simply r squared is r plus 1. So our numbers are built from 1 and r, forming a two-dimensional space. Each g that's a plus br becomes a point a, b on a plane. The x-axis holds a, the real part, and the y-axis holds b, the golden part. This plane will show our calculations in action. First, let's see what r does when multiplied by itself. Powers of r. With r squared equals r plus 1, let's calculate the powers of r. Start with r to the zero, that's one, which is one plus zero r. r to the first is just r, or zero plus one r. For r squared, we use the rule r times r is r squared, which equals r plus one, so that's one plus one r. Now r cubed, that's r times r squared. So r, th r times r plus one is r squared plus r. Since r squared is r plus one, we get r plus one plus r, which is one plus two r. In general, for r to the n plus 2, take r times r to the n plus 1, where r to the n plus 1 is cn plus dnr. This gives cnr plus dn times r squared. Since r squared is r plus 1, that's cnr plus dn, which simplifies to dn plus cn plus dnr. These powers plot as points, like 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, spiraling on our plane. Notice the coefficients, 0, 1, 1, 2, they add pairwise, but let's move to adding numbers. Addition. Let's add two golden numbers. G1 is a plus BR, and G2 is C plus DR. The sum is A plus C for the real part, plus B plus DR for the golden part. On the plane, we start at AB, move by CD, and land at A plus C, B plus D. It's vector addition, clean and simple. Subtraction's up next. Subtraction for subtraction, take G1 minus G2. That's a minus C plus B minus DR. We subtract real parts and golden parts separately. Geometrically, from A, B, we move backward by C, D to A minus C, B minus D. Now let's multiply. Multiplication. Multiplication brings R squared equals R plus 1 into action. Take G1 a plus BR times G2 C plus DR. Distribute. That's a times C plus A times DR plus BR times C plus BR times DR. So AC plus ADR plus BCR plus BDR squared. Now R squared is R plus 1. Replace BDR squared with BD times R plus 1, which is BDR plus BD. Collect terms. Real part is AC plus BD, golden part ADR plus BCR plus BDR, that's AD plus BC plus BDR. So the product is AC plus BD plus AD plus BC plus BDDR. This twists the plane, mixing real and golden parts. Let's find the conjugate next. Conjugate, the conjugate helps us measure numbers for G equals A plus BR. The conjugate is a plus B minus BR. That's a plus B for the real part and negative B times R for the golden part. On the plane, AB moves to A plus B, negative B. This sets up the modulus. Modulus, to find the modulus, compute G times its conjugate. That's A plus BR times A plus B minus BR. Expand A times A plus B plus A times negative BR plus BR times A plus B plus BR times negative BR. So A squared plus AB minus ABR plus ABR plus B squared R minus B squared R squared. Now B squared R squared is B squared times r plus 1, r plus 1, so negative b squared r squared is negative b squared r minus b squared. Combine, real part is a squared plus ab minus b squared. Golden part, negative abr plus abr plus b squared r minus b squared r equals 0. We get a squared plus ab minus b squared, a real number. The modulus is the square root of the absolute value of a squared plus ab minus b squared. Numbers where this equals plus or minus 1 lie on hyperbolas, our version of a unit circle. Let's try division. Division, division means finding an inverse h, say x plus y r, so g times h equals 1. For g equals a plus b r times x plus y r, we get real part a x plus b y, golden part a y plus b x plus b y, all equaling 1 plus 0 r. This gives two equations, a x plus b y equals 1 and a y plus b x plus b y equals 0. To solve, use the conjugate. 
we found g times g bar is a squared plus a b minus b squared. If this isn't zero, h is g bar over a squared plus a b minus b squared. That's a plus b minus b r over a squared plus a b minus b squared. But if a squared plus a b minus b squared equals zero, there's no inverse. g is a zero divisor, a quirk of this algebra. Matrix representation and transformations. Now let's see golden numbers as matrices. For g equals a plus b r, it acts on x plus y r. Compute a plus b r times x plus y r is a x plus a y r plus b x r plus b y r squared. Since r squared is r plus 1, b y r squared is b y r plus b y, so we get a x plus b y plus a y plus b x plus b y r. This maps x y to a x plus b x plus a plus b y. The matrix is a in position 1 minus 1, b in 1, 2, b in 2, 1, and a plus b in 2, 2. That's our matrix for G. For the matrix conjugate, we need the adjoint of G bar, which is a plus B minus BR. That's A plus B plus negative BR. Its matrix is A plus B in 1, 1, negative B in 1, 2, negative B in 2, 1, and A in 2, 2. Now the determinant, for G's matrix, it's A times A plus B minus B times B. That's a squared plus AB minus B squared. Recognize that? It's G times G bar, so the modulus is the square root of the absolute determinant. These matrices transform the plane. Take R's matrix, 0 and 1 minus 1 and 1, 1 to 2, 1 and 2 minus 1, 1 and 2, 2. It maps x, y, x plus y. This is a shear, sliding points along one axis based on the other, like stretching a rubber sheet. Unlike rotations, which preserve angles, these matrices scale and shear, used in computer graphics to distort shapes, in physics for special coordinates, or in math to study linear systems. The determinant shows the scaling factor, and zero determinants mean collapse transformations. We've cracked the 2D golden number system. From r squared equals r plus 1, we calculated powers, added, multiplied, conjugated, found moduli, divided, and transformed with matrices. This algebra, with its hyperbolas and shears, opens doors to new math worlds. Comment if you want a 3D sequel. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more. Thanks for joining.